Now, if you've been outside today, you know the roads right now are wet and slushy. And Denver 7's Jennifer Kowaleski has been out all day finding the worst trouble spots for you right now. She's at 6th and Pearl here in Denver. Then the roads have been so bad at times that CDOT's requiring drivers to take extra precautions. And for the first time, CDOT actually put in the traction laws in the Denver metro area, which means that if you're planning to drive on any of those major interstates like I-25 or I-76, you're going to need to have a car with snow tires, chains, or four-wheel drive. And this is why. The snow is just so heavy and wet. You can see it actually took down this branch here, and it's really turned the roads into a slushy and icy mess. Now, we drove all around Denver today, and this is some video from our drive, and we found for the for the most part, all of the neighborhood roads are slick and snow packed. Main roads are a little better, but can be icy in some spots. CDOT also made clear that if you don't have the proper traction on your tires, that you need to stay home and off those major interstates. Traction laws will likely stay in effect until sometime tomorrow. To do it in the metro area is something very unusual again, and it really is an opportunity for us to talk to people and say, if you don't have good tires, don't drive on these roads right now, not in conditions like what we're experiencing. Now, if you plan to head up to the mountains on the I-70 mountain corridor, don't expect to just get a warning if you're driving on bald tires. CDOT says you will get a ticket, and if you get in a wreck and block the interstate, they will actually fine you up to $600. Reporting live in Denver tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7.